What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today, another holiday buyer's guide for you. Today we are talking tackle storage. We get the question all the time, how do you store these baits? How do you store those baits? How do you store your terminal tackle? Today I got a bunch of stuff lined up for you guys, so let's get started. So I have a whole lineup uh, for you guys. You know, there is not a perfect solution. I, that's why I have so many different boxes, so many different bags to store my tackle. You know, when you're going out and you're dropping a lot of money on baits, hooks, weights, line, you got to have a good way to store them. So I have some boxes today that I want to share with you guys, some bags, some tips, some tricks that I've learned along the way. So let's dive in. The first box that I want to talk about is going to be the generic Plano 3700. You know, this is the box that kind of set the standard for all the other boxes on the market. You know, when you go search any brand, whatever you look for, their size system, their 3600, 3700, their size system, how they measure their boxes is kind of the staple for all other boxes. So the generic Plano 3700, I've probably had a hundred of these in my fishing career. It's just the, the inexpensive box comes with uh, little dividers. You can separate all of your stuff out and uh, keeps things very organized. So this is gonna be your entry level box. This is gonna be your most widely used box. You know, this is actually a, an older Nico rig box I have set up here. I got my Senkos. I have my different bands set up, some hooks, some weights. Um, again, they come with different, or they come with dividers you can cut and, and move and make the different compartments different sizes, but this is going to be your staple, the 3700 Plano box. You know, this one's all beat up, I've had for several years. They last, they work. The next box that I want to talk about is a specific Alabama rig box. Again, it's going to be a Plano 3700 size box. But what's cool about this is it comes with your inserts. So you take your compressed Alabama rigs, you put your heads through here, and it has a wire divider, a wire separator here, and it compresses all of your Alabama rigs into one box. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rigged, full Alabama rigged, full rigs, and then I have a bunch of, of uh, empty ones also in here. This is a lifesaver. When you when you try to store Alabama rigs with all of your different wires everywhere, it just becomes a mess. So this is a must have if you throw A rigs or Alabama rigs, definitely check out this box. Now I don't know the numbers on all these boxes, so down below in the video description, I will link you to every specific box because they all have different model numbers, different sizes, all that stuff that I don't have memorized, but I will do my best to link it all very easily for you and your loved ones for this buyer's guide. Now, switching it up, this box right here, this is a beast. This is the Bass Mafia box, and supposedly you could run this thing over with a truck and not have any issues. I use these boxes for my special baits. This one right here, it's a waterproof box, but you can see here's all my high priced, high dollar lipless crankbaits. These are the baits that I want to not necessarily keep secret, but keep protected. I don't want them to get crushed or broken. So this Bass Mafia box is awesome. The downside, you can't really see into it. Maybe that's a plus, I don't know. But I know for me, when I see the, the red Bass Mafia box, I know that this is my lipless crankbait box. I'm gonna kind of fly through these boxes because there's a lot to talk about. But again, I will link everything down below in the video description, all these technique specific stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? Cheeto? No, I'm good. I wanted to add, I like that box for my special baits. I don't want people to see when they get in my boat. Just saying. There you go. So that's Matt being a guide, I guess. <laughs> that That is, I guess it's a pro if you don't want to people know what is in your special box. There you go. Um, let's keep going through. A lot of these are um, 
Plano boxes just because they have so many special technique boxes. I really th like this box right here. This is my frog box. You know, frog fishing, we all have a ton of frogs. When you're out fishing, they get filled with water. You don't want to put them back in your box and have all that water stored in there so that your, your frog hooks rust out. This box has built in holes all through the lid and all through the base to breathe, to let that, let that water evaporate. And uh, I haven't had any issues with it. Now I wouldn't recommend this box for baits that have like treble hooks because I think they would get hung up in all these little holes. But this is a specific, perfect frog box. Uh, it keeps all my frogs very, very dry. Little tip for you, if you guys wanna take baby powder, you can put baby powder on your frogs. If you're throwing them in a normal box, that'll keep your baits dry and your legs soft as well. But uh, this box right here is a must have if you guys are diehard frog fishermen. Keeping up with technique specific stuff. This is, I'm not gonna even tell you what box this is. All I know is it is a very universal box. So this, it's, it's a Plano 3700, same, same profile as everything else, but it comes with your rail system every like eighth of an inch. So you can make your compartments as small as you want or as big as you want. And on top of that, it actually comes with angled dividers. This works very well on crankbaits because you can angle your, your different compartment the same angle as your bill of your crankbait so you can separate and organize all of your crankbaits the same direction and you maximize the space in a 3700. But I, I use this box for hooks sometimes. If I, if I have a bunch of different types of hooks, I'll separate it like that. But this is another very universal box, but I really like it for crankbaits. So many boxes to talk about. Let's talk about the new Plano Edge boxes. These are really cool. It took me a little bit of time to get used to the single latch system. It's a, it's a one hand open. You don't need two hands to open the different latches. It's a single latch. You pop it open and lift up and that it's, it's very easy. It took me a little, little bit of time to get used to it, but I really, really like it. The benefit of this new Edge stuff, I think they spent a lot of time developing this it's got the restrictor built into the plastic. So the entire box is made to eliminate rust and keep your hooks and your termina terminal tackle, your expensive baits safe, protected, and not rusting. Another cool, another cool deal that I really dig about this box or this lineup, I haven't used the entire lineup, I have a few, but they come First off, all the dividers come pre-cut. That is genius. I, I hate buying boxes and having to cut all the dividers. In the Edge lineup, they all come pre-cut. So this right here, this is actually my drop shot box. Got it labeled there. This all wipes off too uh, with a, a little soap and water so you don't have to put labels on. I think they spent a lot of time developing this box, this lineup, because I really like them. But dividers come pre-cut. But the cool thing about this, it comes with this little water wick pack and it has a, like a silicone pouch, like the stuff that comes in here, like a tennis shoe box when you buy that little silicone pouch that takes uh, moisture out of the air. It comes with one of these that is a built-in divider. You can move it all around, but it holds one of those pouches and you can change those out. Again, just thinking, thinking outside the, the normal traditional box and putting some really cool features in here. So my technique specific, so like my drop shot box or my shaky head box, my tube box, my terminal specific techniques, I switched all over to this new Plano Edge stuff because I really like it. Very sturdy box, got the restrictor built in. This is a really good box. Sticking with the same one, this is the normal 3700. Again, one hand, see how easy it opens. Got the built-in divider with the silicone silicone packs in it. Very, very smart. I really like these boxes. I do have one more in that series I wanna talk about before I jump into some other stuff. 
so I can stay on this same topic. Kitex. I've always had a hard time figuring out how to store my Kitex in package. See here, I have them turned on their side. You can fit probably, well, let's count them. 12, 12 4.8s and 3.8s, and I have three 2.8s in here. So, was that 15 packs? You could, if you took out the dividers, you could get some more in there. But um, again, it's just another, another box that is built on that 3700 platform, all the same size. So if you have your shelving in your boat or in your garage, it all fits in that same 3700 size profile very easily. I These three from that new Plano Edge lineup, I really like. Perfect for storing your Kitex. Uh, you could take the dividers out, whatever you need to do. But uh, those are the three that I really, really like from that new lineup and um, very impressed. We'll do bags in just a second. One more box. This is the last box I'm gonna talk about. You can see there's so many different styles of boxes, but this is just a waterproof 3,700 box. This has your three latches on the side. It's got a gasket around the edge of the box. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the Bass Mafia box does as well. That's another reason I like that box. It's got that rubber gasket along the side. This one's actually, it's not, flat it's not flush with the with the uh, with the box it's actually kind of I don't know what the word is for it I'm I lost for words on that but um, it it seals very nicely because it's not flush it's actually built in and when you lock it down it locks that seal in that lip and you can't get water in so here I have all of my treble hooks I have a line of red. You can see six, four, two, one, one aught, two aught, and then I have my normal, my normal size treble hooks: one x, two x, three x. So this is how I organize my treble hooks. You know, it's I keep a lot of the foam in every compartment. I keep the little foam pack that comes out of a hook pack, and you can actually use that. Hook your hooks into it so they don't slide around, hook each other, dull themselves. But this is how I store all of my treble hooks. This is just a waterproof 3700 box. So enough about boxes. Let's get these out of the way. Those are all your different technique specific boxes that I like to use. Let's talk bags. A few bags. This is the Bass Mafia money bag. And this thing is money. It's got a big zipper on the top and a Ziploc on the inside. So two different ways to seal it, keep water out, and I use these things for everything. So right here I have all of my backstock or bulk treble hooks. That's how I store it in my boat if I'm going out fishing. This is how I store it if I need backups or I'm going on a trip or in my garage. I keep them all in a bag like this. This bag, I have used this bag to travel fishing trips out of the country. I literally use this bag and I will put my toothbrush and all of my travel supplies in this because it's very strong. It's not like a normal Ziploc. It's not like a Ziploc bag you're gonna buy at Costco or whatever. Very strong, very durable. I haven't punctured one yet. I'm sure you could if you intentionally tried to, but very strong, very, it's, I haven't had any issues. So traveling, I'll put my toothbrush in it. I'll put, you know, razor, all of my bathroom supplies. In a, in a bag like this because I can compress it down and it doesn't take up all of the space of a normal box so or a normal bathroom bag. So lots of universal uses for it, but the Bass Mafia bag is a great way to store pretty much anything. Waterproof, very rugged. You could store... Sorry about the crying kid. They're doing a photo shoot over here. You could store whatever you want in these. Um, I really, I used to store all of my soft plastics in the Bass Mafia bag, but I really like these KVD bags. This is the 20 and this is the 40. This will hold 20 packs of soft plastics. 
So I used to do the Bass Mafia bag, but now my technique specific. So if I have all of my drop shot worms, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have all of my, hopefully you guys can see this, it opens up. I have all of my reaction innovation flirt worms right here. This thing opens all the way up and pull it open. It fits 20 packages of soft plastics. Now that could be all one style, all one brand like I have, or that could be your whole lineup of all of your worms. This one right here, this is the 40. I have my four and a half and six inch robo worms right here. Everything's organized, very easy to get to. This is how I store them in my boat. Love these things. So I have them for, for my specific bait. So I'll have one for reaction innovations. I'll have one for, for beavers, for drop shot worms. So whatever technique it is, I'll have a specific pouch for it. That way they're all in one spot and I have all my colors right there. Big swim baits, expensive baits. This is how I've always stored my big glide baits, my big soft baits. I don't want the tails to get smashed. I don't want my, my paint jobs to get scratched up. I just want to take care of them and I don't want them sliding around in a box. This is a bait wrap by I Surrender. It's got a Velcro strap on the back. Undoes just like that. So you have a Velcro strap right here. You pull your bait out, slide it back in. Very thick plastic. I mean, unless you really force it, the hook's not gonna penetrate. Don't have any issues, but you don't have your bait sliding around rubbing in a plastic box. You can put two baits back to back. This is the large four pocket. I think they make a large eight, but uh, I really like the large four because you can fit you know, eight baits in here. You can fit other stuff in here, spinner baits, all that sort of stuff, but I use this for my big expensive soft swim baits and glide baits. Stores very easily, just fold it in half, in half again, Velcro it up, and you're good. Two more things for you. I don't even know what this thing is called, but it is a lifesaver. Again, I just went through and grabbed all the unique stuff out of my boat that I thought that you guys would like to check out or at least see. This is a spoolin' buddy. I got it off Tackle Warehouse, but it is a lifesaver. You can see right here, I have one for my big bulk spools. Big bulk spools of, of braid. Got some Sunline, some Max Quattro on here, some Seaguar, and I keep this in the boat, especially long trips. If I'm gonna be gone for a long time, I don't need to have boxes and boxes of, of small spools of line. I like the big spools. This unscrews, you slide your spool onto it, and stores all of your line very easily. I keep a rubber band on all my spools to keep the line um, from untangling by itself, but you literally spool right from this guy right here. You can put your foot on it, put it on the ground, put your foot on the spool and put your tension on it, but it stores your bulk spools very nicely. Comes in a bunch of different sizes. I'm not sure what size this is, but I will link it down below in the video description for you, but you can see it works awesome. Now the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is a backpack. This is my Tackle Warehouse backpack that, oh there's a pair of split ring pliers I was missing. This is a backpack that, this specific bag I have used now for I think three years. I've never had any issues with it, done a lot of backpacking, fishing, hiking shorelines with it, uh, kayak fishing, very cool inexpensive bag. I think it's 50 or 60 bucks. But like I said, I've had this thing for three years. Pockets on the side for water, pliers, sunglasses. Hopefully I don't have baits in here. I can't remember. Built in plastics, uh, plastic holders, whatever you want. Got uh, a waterproof pouch right here. This is where I put like my keys, my wallet. Um, but I have beat the crud out of this thing. You can see it's all dirty. Um, I'm very impressed that it's lasted this many years. It holds up to, you could put two big 3700, like the thick 37, the deeps in, or two to three normal sized 3700 boxes. They just stack in here very nicely. Again, more pouches in here 
They got like a ripstop material in here for uh, to help with hook penetration. But uh, zip this puppy up. It's got a rod holder on it. It's got all, all sorts of stuff, but very comfortable. And uh, I highly recommend if you guys are, are shore fishermen or if you guys are co-anglers and you're going for a tournament, this will hold enough tackle for the day and uh, keep you fishing. You don't have to bring a lot of stuff onto the pro's boat. Very easy on and off, throw it over your shoulder and you're good to go. So that is it guys. That is a buyer's guide for bait and tackle storage. I know it's a little overwhelming. Those are all technique specific boxes that I think you guys could utilize and put to work in your fishing. If you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. Matt and I will try and get to those. It's very, very busy time for us with the holidays and kids and doing all these videos for you. So if we're a little slow on that, we apologize, but we'll do our best to get to those. As always, guys, we appreciate you. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We'll talk to you soon.